Picture this, you've spent nearly two decades chasing an idea most people dismissed as impossible, a three-wheeled vehicle so efficient it could pull meaningful range directly from the sun. Tens of thousands of supporters believe in you. More than $100 million has already been raised. Production dates are finally on the horizon. And then, at the moment when everything should be locking in, you make a decision that forces you to redesign one of the most critical systems in the entire vehicle. That's exactly what happened inside Aptera in mid-2024, and the story of that decision says more about the future of electric vehicles than almost any spec sheet ever could. From the beginning, Aptera wasn't trying to build just another EV. The goal was radical efficiency, not incremental improvement. Every surface, every gram of weight, every watt of energy was scrutinized. The vehicle's shape wasn't designed to look futuristic, it was shaped by physics. Airflow mattered more than styling trends, mass mattered more than luxury features, and at the center of that vision sat a motor concept that felt like it belonged in the future, in-wheel hub motors. The original plan relied on advanced in-wheel motors capable of delivering enormous torque while remaining astonishingly light. These motors promised independent control at each wheel, exceptional efficiency, and a packaging advantage that fit perfectly with Aptera's ultra-aerodynamic body. On paper, it was the perfect match. Torque vectoring without mechanical complexity, no bulky drivetrain running through the vehicle, maximum interior space, maximum control, maximum efficiency. Acceleration figures backed up the promise. With multiple hub motors, the vehicle was projected to reach highway speeds in seconds while maintaining efficiency numbers that made conventional EVs look wasteful by comparison. It wasn't just about speed, it was about doing more with less energy than anyone else on the road. But engineering doesn't happen on paper alone. Reality has deadlines, supply chains, tooling constraints, and manufacturing calendars that don't care how elegant an idea might be. By 2024, Aptera faced a hard truth that every hardware startup eventually encounters. The hub motor technology simply wasn't ready for mass production on the timeline required. Development stretched longer than expected, validation took more time, manufacturing readiness lagged behind the rest of the vehicle. And waiting longer wasn't just inconvenient, it threatened the entire company. After years of work, after enormous financial and emotional investment, the choice became unavoidable. Either continue chasing the perfect motor and risk never delivering a vehicle at all, or pivot to something proven, reliable, and available right now. The decision wasn't easy, and it wasn't popular with everyone. When Aptera announced it would abandon hub motors in favor of a conventional integrated axle drive system, reactions were immediate and intense. Some supporters felt that a defining feature had been stripped away. Others understood the reality instantly. A vehicle that exists, even if it's slightly different than originally imagined, is infinitely more valuable than a perfect vehicle that never leaves the factory. That pivot led Aptera to a motor system that doesn't sound revolutionary at first glance. It isn't exotic, it isn't experimental, and that's exactly why it mattered. Instead of reinventing the motor itself, Aptera chose an integrated drive unit that had already proven itself in hundreds of thousands of vehicles worldwide. This system combines the electric motor, inverter, and reduction gearing into a single, compact assembly. It's the kind of solution engineers trust when failure isn't an option. The motor at the heart of this system is a permanent magnet synchronous motor. The name sounds technical, but the principle is elegant. Powerful permanent magnets embedded in the rotor create a constant magnetic field. Surrounding coils in the stator generate a rotating magnetic field when energized. The rotor locks into that field and spins in perfect synchrony with it. No wasted motion, no slip, just direct, efficient conversion of electrical energy into rotation. That synchronization is the secret, 
because the rotor doesn't need electrical current to generate its magnetic field, energy losses are dramatically reduced, heat generation drops, efficiency climbs. In modern designs, efficiencies routinely exceed 95%. In a vehicle where every fraction of a kilowatt hour matters, those gains compound mile after mile. Power density is another advantage. Permanent magnet motors deliver significant torque from a compact, lightweight package. For Aptera, which targets a curb weight far below conventional EVs, this characteristic isn't just beneficial, it's essential. A heavier motor would ripple through the entire design, forcing compromises elsewhere. This motor fit the vehicle's philosophy instead of fighting it. Control is the third piece of the puzzle. These motors respond instantly to changes in current, allowing precise management of torque and regeneration. That precision enables smooth acceleration, predictable handling, and efficient regenerative braking. It also allows the vehicle's software to extract maximum efficiency in every driving condition, whether cruising on the highway or creeping through city traffic. What elevates this system beyond a simple motor choice is its integration. Traditional EV powertrains scatter components throughout the vehicle. Separate motor housings, separate inverters, separate reduction gearings. Each component adds weight, complexity, cooling requirements, and potential failure points. Here, everything lives in one compact unit. Fewer housings, fewer fasteners, fewer cables, fewer connectors. The result is lighter, simpler, and more reliable. Integration also simplifies thermal management, concentrating heat sources so they can be cooled more effectively. For Aptera, which uses innovative cooling strategies embedded within its structure, that concentration matters. When the production intent prototype finally drove under its own power, skepticism lingered. Could this more conventional motor choice really deliver the efficiency Aptera promised from the beginning? Early testing suggested it could. Energy consumption aligned with projections. Performance targets remained intact. The vehicle behaved like an Aptera was always supposed to behave. Further validation followed. Real-world testing focused on aerodynamics, rolling resistance, drivetrain losses, and stability. Engineers measured how quickly the vehicle coasted to a stop, how much energy was lost at speed, and how consistently the powertrain delivered torque. These weren't flashy tests, but they were the ones that mattered. The efficiency target remained audacious, roughly 10 miles per kilowatt hour, numbers that most EVs never approach. Achieving that level of efficiency requires everything to work together. Extreme aerodynamics reduce drag, lightweight construction minimizes inertia, low resistance tires cut rolling losses, a highly efficient motor ensures energy isn't wasted before it ever reaches the wheels. The trade-offs of the motor switch were real. All-wheel drive disappeared from the initial launch. Independent torque control at each wheel was no longer part of the first production vehicles. Some regenerative braking potential may have been sacrificed. On a purely theoretical level, hub motors still held advantages. But engineering doesn't deliver vehicles, manufacturing does. What Aptera gained was far more important in the short term – production viability, cost predictability, serviceability, supply chain stability, the ability to actually ship vehicles instead of endlessly refining prototypes. For customers who had waited years, that shift mattered more than any single feature. Zoom out and this decision reflects a broader truth about electric vehicle manufacturing. Innovation is essential, but execution is everything. Many companies have built brilliant prototypes that never became products. The difference between success and failure often comes down to knowing when to stop chasing perfection and start delivering reality. The industry's biggest players learned this lesson early. Proven components paired with targeted innovation allowed them to scale. Custom solutions came later, once production, cash flow, and experience were secured. Aptera's choice follows that same arc. The broader market context reinforces the logic. 
permanent magnet motors dominate efficiency-focused EV designs across the industry. They're not experimental anymore, they're the standard. Aptera's application aligns perfectly with their strengths, lightweight vehicle, long range, minimal energy waste. The door isn't closed on future innovation, Hub motors may return in later configurations. New motor technologies continue to evolve. Materials improve, designs mature. By shipping first and refining later, Aptera preserves the option to innovate without risking its existence. Community reaction captured this tension perfectly. Some mourned what could have been. Others welcomed what finally will be. Most understood that a vehicle driven every day beats a concept admired from afar. Achieving 10 miles per kilowatt hour isn't about a single breakthrough. It's about relentless, it's about relentless optimization. It's about refusing to waste energy anywhere in the system. The motor choice plays a critical role but it's only one piece of a larger efficiency puzzle that includes structure, aerodynamics, tires, software, and solar integration. And solar changes the equation entirely. When the vehicle can generate its own energy, even modest gains in efficiency multiply into meaningful daily range. Every percent matters more. Every watt counts more. That's where the motor's efficiency quietly amplifies everything else. Production remains the final hurdle. Tooling, funding, ramp-up, and scale will ultimately determine success. But the motor decision reduces risk at the exact moment risk needed to be reduced. It transforms an ambitious vision into something manufacturable. In the end, this motor isn't revolutionary because of what it is, it's revolutionary because of what it enables. It turns Aptera from an idea into a vehicle, from a promise into a product, from a prototype into something that can actually appear on real roads. When an Aptera finally glides past, quietly converting sunlight and electrons into motion, few people will think about what motor sits beneath the bodywork. But that motor will represent a choice, the choice to deliver reality instead of chasing perfection. And in the world of electric vehicles, that choice may be the most important innovation of all.